Right, London, baby. Drifting is all about sliding your car for a set course. It's, it's judged on speed, angles, uh, there's a few points for style, you know, if you're always on the limiter, creating lots of smoke. And they, and they award you extra points for crowd-pleasing parts of it as well. Welcome to the 2014 Extreme Drift All-Stars European Series. We're kicking off the season here in the centre of London at the Olympic Park in Stratford. The 2014 season has gathered the top professional drift drivers from 14 different countries across Europe and will be putting them under battle at this bespoke custom track in London. Drifting, still a young motorsport, has exploded across Europe. The series has really inspired a new culture, but for 2014, it's in seven very special places. Tracks consist of urban circuits, legendary racetracks, and even untouched street courses. These drivers are really in for a treat. In 2012, James Dean was the champion, and now he's back to reclaim a title and be the 2014 champion. Giannis Eglita has made a big change in the offseason, and he's back with a ZTEX twin turbo BMW E46. But that's not all. Drift All Stars has 40 committed drivers waiting for the season to get on the road. My name is Nigel Colfer, uh, this is my car, uh, Nissan 180SX. My name is Dmitry Luk, I am from Ukraine, I drive this car from 2001. Hi, 
Hi, my name is Martin Richards and I'm driving the Altenzo Tyres R33 Nissan Skyline. Hi, my name is James Dean and I'm driving the Falcon Motorsports Nissan S14. Okay, my name is Piotr Wiencek from Budmat Auto Drift Team. My name is David Karkosik and I drive Nissan Silvia S15. If I can, he's here for this weekend and he's competing all season. If he wants to uh, chat with us, hi Dimitri, how are you? Good, thank you. Are you feeling positive about the weekend so far? Yeah, it's awesome. It's amazing lineup of the drivers, amazing weather, amazing track. It's gonna be awesome. And quickly, are you ready? Is the car ready? The setup? Have you had much uh, testing before? Uh, no, we had a lot of repairs before because, because I damaged the engine and uh, we fixed it last week in Italy near Ferrari factory. So it should be Ferrari now. <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck, thank you. There's Dimitri there feeling very confident. Best of luck for him. I'm just going to have a quick word with Nigel and see how he's feeling about going out for the first practice. Nigel, we're here in London. It's your first practice of the day. Everything set up. Are you feeling ready? Yeah, it's a brand new car we built this year and put together. So we've been running into a few problems uh, coming up to this event. So we haven't had much test time. Um, so yeah, it's all brand new. Hopefully uh, the track looks quite technical. Um, but yeah, get, get some practice runs in now and uh, get comfortable with the car and start pushing then later on. So, Jack, first practice time for the weekend. Are you excited about the course here in London? Yeah, I'm getting excited. Pretty nervous now though. <laughs> Why are you nervous? Uh, just different track, never drove it before. And just kind of feeling excited. Well, best of luck, enjoy it. With every year and even every race, the technology of these cars is pushing beyond previous limits. These drivers have to be ready for any conditions. The cars they're driving are the most powerful saloon cars in the world, with power figures ranging from 600 to 1200 horsepower. Suspension has to be properly adjusted to guarantee the highest speeds possible. Giannis Eglete debuted his twin turbo V8 E46 for the first time with ZTEX as a new sponsor. Driftworks also came out to prove that they not only build awesome cars, but they can also drive them. And Christian Halverson smoked up the place in his 800 horsepower Nissan S15. It's a 2JZ powered S14 with a full aero kit, body kit, running on Falcon tires and has over 650 horsepower, so it's, a, it's an animal to drive. For this round I have uh, 700 horsepower with, uh, alcohol fuel, 1000 Nm, uh, so the car is really powerful, it's really more than enough for this track. And uh, I have new suspension, new uh, shock absorbers also. So the car is rebalanced uh, for uh, this season also. And uh, as, I, as we can see, it's, I think it's perfect for now. Not the fastest tracks, but the uh, track is technical. A few places will be really technical and you need to think. The 2014 season of the Extreme Drift All-Stars kicks off adjacent to the picturesque Olympic Stadium in London. The custom-made street circuit quickly proved to be an extremely technical one, putting all the action right in the hands of the spectators. London, not typically known for its weather, decided to change its reputation and grace us with an absolutely perfect weekend.
qualifying tested the drivers to their limits, and the top five drivers were separated only by a few points, with Piotr Gwiecek in first place. Peter, highest qualified driver. Can you tell us what it was like out there? It's amazing to drive in the center of London, near the Olympic Stadium. It's really fantastic for me, especially it's my first round abroad in this year, and I attended in the three rounds, and I won every qualification there, so for me it's the perfect start of the season. Hopefully to keep up uh, to the end. And uh, track is uh, not so natural, the first corner you have to correct the car, not so uh, nat natural line, but when you get there, it, it's perfect. All back together last night, came back this morning, went out for my first practice lap, initiated and halfway around the first corner, the clutch just stuck to the ground. So it popped the release bearing. Um, so. We had no time, so all the lads, I pulled in. Before I got out of the car, the car was already on its side. Started taking the gearbox out. We had a spare release bearing, got it fitted, and just got back out for qualifying. We scored a 94, which is really happy considering no practice, and uh, I'm looking forward to twin battles. The biggest challenge after practice on competition day was qualification. Qualification is used to rank the drivers, taking the highest 16 and ranking them in order, determining the brackets for the tandem battles. In qualification, drivers are scrutinized by the judges in four separate categories, line, angle, speed, and style. The line is designated by the judges in briefing, giving the drivers rear zones to touch with the backs of their cars and front clipping points to get close to with their front bumpers. Angle is the second criteria, and it has to do with how sideways a car is. Cars are meant to stay as sideways as possible while staying smooth and not making corrections in their steering. Speed is the third. Judges expect drivers to maintain the highest speed possible around the track. Style is the last point of interest for the judges, and has to do with the impact and commitment of a driver. With the style, the true soul of a driver comes out and is seen by the spectators. All in all, the most impactful driver over qualification was Piotr Wiencek from Poland. His great score was not only because of his technical skill, but mainly because of his style and ultimate aggression. Tandem battles are the spectacle of the race weekend. In tandem battles, the lead driver is meant to do a perfect qualifying run, while the following car is meant to get as close to the lead car as possible without affecting the lead car's run. The cars then switch positions, and then after the two battles, the judges decide which driver was stronger over the two runs. If it's a tie, they go one more time. In tandem battles, the winner of the competition will be decided. Already silence before the request, making tons of smoke before the first outside clip. Crazy line, he's on it. Easy lead run. Mateusz Fiel completely over the line. When they was trying to put out some pressure, but with a much tighter line, not a horrible chase by, not a horrible chase by Mateusz, but definitely not on the on the same line as Vietek. Unbelievable lead run by Vietek. Our start monster is giving them the countdown. Three, two, one. There we go. Dovey Car pushing off. Luis is close on him. Dovey Car pushing always sideways off of the ramp. And there he goes, he goes straight. And Luis, Luis Lopez straight. goes straight. Go oh, call for our eighth qualifier. Can Nigel do better at putting pressure than Martin did? Nigel's trying to close the gap. Oh! Whoa! Ripping the bumpers off. That's crazy right there. What is going on? That's crazy right there. Now it's up to the ju judges to determine whether that was Nigel Can he maintain this? Can he keep it together behind you, Dimitri? And he's really on it. He's really amazing. On the same line that Dimitri Amazing is. lead run by Dimitri as well. Great, great job by Ingas. Falling off a little bit at the last minute of the course. Dimitri really pouring on the smoke. Trying to blind Inglis. Massive 
massive smoke from Chris Starr in the lead. James leaving a little bit of a gap. Chris Starr running really wide. Oh, oh, what do we have here? James Dean is straightened. There must be a technical issue we with have James a Dean. Technical failure because of that. I know for after the bump. James Fuller not too far away, closing the gap with such less than Will he be able to hold this together? Giannis, a massive angle. James Fuller on him. Oh my god, look at this. Will the local boy upset Giannis Eglinton? Great run by both. Definitely not on the right line from James Fuller, but still great pressure. What a phenomenal lead run by Giannis. James Fuller leading Giannis. Giannis knows he has to put pressure on now. Very aggressive by both drivers. Oh my god, James crashing! Whoa. Crashing hard in front of the judges stand. Heads all out there. Pushing so hard. Oh, oh, hey, James Fuller is on fire! James Fuller is on fire! from Jack Shanahan. So fast by Jack. Big, big speed difference between the two cars. There is oh, a second wow. gap, though. Cars still trying to be aggressive, but really cannot maintain the speed that Jack has maintained. Jack is closing that gap really quickly. Now on, on Marshall's back bumper. Shallow transition by Jack, but putting, putting the pressure on. Phenomenal driving by both drivers. Great driving by Jack Shanahan. Awesome, That's an awesome, awesome run. run by Jack Shanahan. That's it, firing hard. Sideways already. Sideways in second gear, sideways in third. Over the crest. Make it smoke in front of Richards. Whoa. How can Richards see behind that? Phenomenal lead run so far by Vienza. Can he keep it up? Richard's running a little bit shallow, trying to close the gap. <laughs> Incredible lead run by Piotr Piotrek. So consistent today. Kargojic <laughs> on Ingus' rear bumper. His door. Phenomenal chase run so far. What a battle. Beautiful chase run by Kargoshik. So on it. Phenomenal chase run. But I don't I don't think it's gonna be enough to. Chapman and Chris Recoverson, but still judges are deciding. Here we go, Giannis leading Jack, and they're off. Jack extremely fast coming up the hill. Jack trying to catch Giannis. Giannis winding on the angle. Jack really not nice getting lost so far. Really trying to put on the pressure. Giannis looking very, very strong in the lead. Giannis definitely having more angle than Jack. Still, Jack is able to put a bit of pressure on. What a phenomenal run! Whoa! Oh, Giannis putting on the pressure. Jack Shannon having a great run. Whoa. Giannis with a phenomenal chase run. Ladies and gentlemen, Chapman trying to stay on the bumper. Getzek going sideways from the get-go. Dan Chapman trying to navigate within the smoke. Getzek going a great lead run. Dan Chapman not bad in the fall, but can't keep the pace. Dan Chapman emerging from the smoke. Getzek just phenomenal in the lead. Dead 
jab it straight, and he hits again. Galli said he's there. Eagles following. And Eagles Jakobsen. Both cars initiating over the crest. Giannis with a little bit more angle. Pulling away from it. Eagles. Now he pours on the angle, pours on the smoke. And he's making a gap. Eagles is not able to follow. So aggressive by Giannis. Glooms of glooms of smoke from Giannis's car. Oh, and Eagles cuts that corner. Let's see we'll, how the judges will see that. Phenomenal run by Giannis. And there we Smoke go. Finishing over the crest again. Ingus really trying to run from Giannis. Oh! Oh my god! Both top final positions determined by a crash in the same Huge place. Huge round of applause. Ladies and Ingus gentlemen. Jacobson. Oh my god. Giannis has blown his engine. Giannis Egelte's engine failure after his top four battle gave Piotr Kvyansek the win, as Giannis Egelte had to retire and could not even participate in the final battle. And this concludes our Drift All-Stars round one in London. Thank you for watching, and you can follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Ich hab dir so da, dann ich hau's dir wieder, es war schluckig.